um, after my last video some people requested that uh, I do a page object model uh, framework on the same framework that I demoed last time and um, sorry for the delay but uh, at last uh, I'm going to show you guys how to change the existing uh, step definition and uh, the feature uh, framework and uh, enhance it into a page object uh, framework. Uh, so for that what we'll uh, need to do is uh, we'll have to create a page uh, pages that uh, we'll have to split our test into pages which have specific methods in them which can be called according to that page and uh, uh, so that we can uh, bring the page object uh, model here so let's let's do that so what what as part of our uh, test steps we have two steps here so these this this test uh, that we've created earlier is this can be seen uh, from in the previous video that i have uploaded where uh, the objective was to go to amazon.in search for specific earphones and then make sure the uh, search results gives me a particular string that i'm looking for now this string can be dynamic based on the uh, the changes that happen on the amazon website so this cannot this cannot be uh, may or may not work for you uh, uh, what you'll have to do is probably change the string that is there and then make sure it works for you uh, so let's let's start with that the steps uh, the step file that we have here uh, if you look at it it uh, basically is dealing with the two pages here one is the landing page uh, which is the amazon.in when we type in the url the page that we get and the second page is probably the search uh, result page right so uh, let's let's start with that. Let's start with the. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a pages folder inside the existing feature folder that we have. So I'm going to add a new folder here, and I'm going to call it pages. Now, as we discussed, we are going to need two page files here. One is the landing page. So let's just start creating them and the other page file that we'll be needing is uh, let's call it search results page right so these are the two files that we need so let's get cracking right so landing page uh, let's create a class here uh, because our page objects need to be class files uh, so I'll call it landing page landing page right and the class needs to end let's do that let's create a method here now what is the method that we'll be needing uh, let's go to test steps and it says I search for a string right so let's call the method as search string and it is taking a parameter called string this so what, what what all it has to do it has to do all these things here right so let's just copy all these things and put them here so this is what it has to do so this is what it has to do um, it has to find the text box click on it it has to find the text box put a string in it it has to find the text box, uh, the, it has to find the uh, search button and then click on it. Right? So these are the three things that happen as part of this method. Right? So we've got this covered. Now uh, what we have to do is we have to, uh, we'll come to that later. Now let's look at the other page that we need. Other page that we need is the, uh, the, land, uh, the search result page. Right? And this is the method that we need here and the method is basically uh, search result string is what i want right so let's create the class file here uh, so this is the class and the class that i need is let's call it search 
results page, right? So let's end it. Uh, the method that we need here is search string, right? Uh, no, no, not search string. We search result string, right? Let's call it search result string, right? It doesn't need any parameters. What it needs to do is just get me the uh, result of the search that I've done. And this is the method that will help us do that. So we're gonna do this. So we've created the uh, the page files now. Uh, what, what we need to do is we need to instantiate these page files so that every time uh, that I need to access these methods, I have a way to reach these methods, right? So how are we going to instantiate them is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file called page objects, what are we, right? And what this will uh, let me do is it let me instantiate all the page files that I have together, right? So, and this and what is the first method that we need we need is the landing page right so landing page uh, let's instantiate the landing page not new right and the other one is the search results page and let's instantiate this here. Now my, uh, the, this page file, page class itself has to be instantiated somewhere. So if you remember, we have the environment.rb where we require everything and we uh, uh, specify what uh, browser we need to uh, run it on by registering the driver. So uh, what environment.rba does is it does the high level in initialization. Uh, for us to, to have the page objects available for each of the scenarios, what we'll have to do is we'll have to create a file, new file here. And we can create a file here called hooks.rb. What this will let us do is it will let us uh, instantiate the page file for each scenario so that my page objects are available for each of the scenario inside the step definition files, right? So what we're going to do as part of this is, first we're going to do a require relative of the page object file, which is one folder outside and then inside the pages, this is the file that we need to access. We go one up, we go to pages, and then we go to page, Right, that should do it. Now, what we need to do is we need to, as part of each scenario, I should be able to instantiate all the page objects. Right, so for that, what we need to do is we need to use the before do scenario here. So this is this is an interesting piece of uh, uh, a code here, which which lets us do a lot of things for each scenario. So this this particular piece or this particular section of the hooks.rb can be used to do a variety of things before your scenario even starts executing, right? You can have variables declared here, you can call certain API actions that need to be done, the test data that needs to be created as part of your each of the scenario based on the type of scenario. All those things you can do. But for now, what we're gonna do here is we're just going to instantiate the page object, right? And we're going to call it the global variable page. And this will be called page.new, right? 
so okay we haven't replaced the methods yet but so what we'll do is now to simply call the page object what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to call the page object then the page file class that we need and then the method that we need uh, which is search string and this is searching for a string right and here this one will change it to search result string search result string so if you look here um, uh, in, in Ruby whenever there's a there's a method called the last line of the method whatever it returns it gets returned as part of the method call so you don't have to type an explicit return here so what we'll do is it will return the last line so that's what is going to happen here it's going to sorry uh, we forgot to put the page object here and this is search results page and inside that there is the method right so this is this is what uh, it's gonna do now let's run this once and see if it works this looks like it's going to work right uh, this looks like the, the best way to do it right I can uh, I can call the method here and it should work out of the box right so let's see if this works or not so what we're gonna do is we're going to run it the familiar way like we were doing all this file we're going to run cucumber and it's going to run the only feature file that we have here uh, otherwise going to run all the feature files that you have right so let's execute this and see what happens so it opens the amazon.in page and it didn't do anything much right so it means it failed right so let's have a look at the report here and see what it does um so let's review in finder and let's open this report and see what happened so what it says here is undefined method find for landing page so as you can see here that our page object has worked so it can identify the landing page uh, object and it's going to the particular method also what it's not able to find is the capybara find method right now what is the problem The problem here is, here, the find here does not know that it belongs to Capybara, right? So, in order to do that, what we'll have to do is, we'll have to create a, a base page module, which will include the Capybara methods and classes for us, which can be used here. So what I'm going to do is, as part of the pages, I'm going to add a new file called this page, RB. right? And what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create a module. Now uh, we'll call it base page. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to include the capybara DJS in here. And we're going to include the Capybara Autos code message. Okay. So this is, these are the two things that will be needed and uh, now what we need to do is we need to end this module yeah so what we all we all we that, uh, need to do is we need to include the base page file as part of us As part of all of our page objects. Now let's see if this works. Right? So 
uh, we've added the base page here. The word base page is doing it. It's including the Capybara uh, models for us, Capybara, Capybara classes and methods for us. And it should work. Let's see. Okay, so it's saying unable to find node for Capybara module. I'm going to put the double call in there. Let's run this again. Yeah. Executing. Searches. Gives me a result. Let's look at the report file. Go ahead. I see everything is great. So this is all that you need to do uh, to change your regular Capybara framework into a page object model framework. What we've done is we've made some changes. Let me go through them again. So what we've done is we've created the, the page files which contain the methods that I need. So these are the two page files. Then what we have done is we've created a page object class which instantiates these page files for me. What that does is uh, then what I need to do is I need to create another file called hooks.rb as part of my support folder and I'm going to require the page object file and for before each of the scenario I need to instantiate the page objects uh, itself so that all the page objects get instantiated. And to make sure that all my capybara methods are available as part of my page object, what I need to do is I need to include a file. I can call it anything. I chose to call it base page here. And what base the module, I need to create a module file, which a module here, which includes the capybara DSL and capybara node matches. So that is all you need to do and you have a page object model with you. Uh, the, the tutorial ends here and uh, if you have any questions and we have, if you have any further queries, you can contact me. Uh, you can put comments on the video. Also, you can tell me what next you want me to cover, what are the areas. I can take up different uh, automation frameworks. I can uh, take up uh, any enhancements that you need as part of this particular framework. I can also take up other discussions on uh, performance testing, what performance testing tools you can use, and many others. Just, just keep your suggestions coming in. Thank you.